Hey everybody, my name is Aaliyah and welcome to my channel. Today is day two of my Valentine's Day series here on my channel. So if you want to see what we get today, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and keep on watching the video. Alright, so to start, we are going to start with our eyebrows. Um, today, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild pencil. It's brown, it looks like this. All like the lettering stuff is off, so I don't really know what it is called. But it very well could be an eyeliner and I wouldn't know. So. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna comb out my eyebrow hair. And then I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Granite to just fill in a little bit more. to conceal my eyebrows with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the color Butterscotch. And then I'm going to use this like flat brush to carve them out. I'm just going to put some on my hand and start. Blend out that concealer with the Morphe M173 brush to blend out. As my base, I'm gonna use the MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. That looks like this. Right. And then I'm gonna mix the concealer that I used to carve out my brows. And the same thing. I use both of them because like, I just don't, I want like a seamless blend on like, where my eyebrows are. And I feel like if once you use this alone, it's just like a little too white. But for this look, I don't need all that. I don't need like such a white or such a blank base. Right, so I'm just mixing those together on my hand. And I'm 
going to apply it with the same brush. Blend it out with the same Morphe 173 brush around the edges. Right, and then I'm going to repeat the same step on the side. So now that all of my base is on for my eyeshadow, we're gonna start with the Modern Renaissance palette. This is my very first palette, so it's very well used. So we're gonna go in the color Love Letter to start, and then we're just gonna pack that into the crease. supposed to just kind of want it to be seen and then do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm going to take the same this is the brush that comes with all like the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes so I'm going to take the end that I just used and just blend a little, like make sure the edges are not as hard, so we're just going to blend them out a little bit. Not fully, but just a little. I find that when you do it this way, it makes it a lot easier when you're trying to put in your second color, because it's already halfway blended, so it doesn't, the other color doesn't have to do as much work. And then we're going to take the Dose of Colors Frankation Palette. And we're going to take the color Girl By. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Girl By. Alright, so we're going to take that on a Morphe 513 brush and dip into this color. And we're just going to blend out Love Letter that we just used. Just like a normal blending brush and just blend out that previous color we had a little bit more and then I'm going to dip into that color again and go by from the dose of colors and then just put a little bit more pigment in. Love Letter from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette just to put back that pigment. Yeah. I'm going to take this Morphe M330 brush 
and blend that out a little bit more. And if it's not the pigment that you want, you always can just like add more. make sure when you think you're done blending you're probably not so just go back in with the blending brush just to make sure your blend is at the way you want it to be so pretty satisfied so i'm going to take more of the soft ochre paint pod and the concealer i used to cut off my brows and i'm going to cut my crease to take my finger and just dab on the ends of it. Right. And then we're gonna take love letter and then just put it on the ends. And then I'm gonna take the M33 124 brush and then the Jack on Hill bling box palette and take this hush 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 color and put it on our lid. keep it like this add some liner and then be done but I'm a little extra so I'm not gonna do that um, I am going to get some liner and then see what I come up with okay so I came back and I put like little hearts like over the crease so I'm taking the okay so to start I take the NYX soft cream um, soft matte lip cream it's in the color Liverpool you can use any lipstick um, 
these ones are a little bit thicker so if you want to use like a liquid lipstick that's this color or another one it's probably would be a little bit easier but i also mixed it with the cover fx straps and then it made it look a little bit looser and then it made it like a little shiny when you put it in i also am going to probably set these with powder or set them with like some kind of like red eyeshadow so yeah and then i'm taking the morphe m217 brush it's like a liner brush and then i really like this brush because it's really really like precise so i'm gonna and like i know they look like blobs but i swear they're hearts so i'm gonna take these and just make little hearts i didn't want all of them being like the same size so some are bigger than the other the product like on the tip of the brush that's so you can make like it's easier cuz like you're barely touching your skin when you do that and it's already product on it so it just like easily glides into like a heart shape or whatever shape you want to do yeah and then you can get this brush at like your online or at Alta, the Solar Expression store. And it's really nice. Also, like, very helpful. I'm going to go into the Morphe 3502 and then take this red shade right here and then set the parts with powder. You don't have to do this step, but I just feel like since I have hooded eyes, if they aren't set, it might like crease or mess up. And and they make like the hearts like more red. So, so uh, like when I get to this eye, they should be like drying down matte because the cover effects. These are soft matte lip creams for the lipstick part, but the cover effects do dry down like pretty fast and they dry down well not matte but like they dry down fast but um so it makes them a lot easier so you don't have to set them with powder but I feel better if I set my own powder just because you can wear them like for longer so for the face I'm going to use the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer and put that over my face. This is like a really good primer to use as you can see because I'm like basically done with it. Alright, and then foundation. I mix three foundations to get my perfect shade. So I'm going to take one pump of the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the color 390. I'm going to take one pump of Caracas of the NARS Long Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And then I'm going to take one pump of the Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation by NYX in the color Nutmeg. So all these foundations are like, I never really can find a shade of foundation that matches. So that's why I mix all of these together. They are all like, they're all matte. Like the, these two are way matte, way more matte than like the NARS ones. The NARS ones is more like radiant, a more like skin-like finish. And I like that, but. I feel like when you mix all of these ones together, it does give you like a really nice like glowy finish, but not like too glowy that like you look oily throughout the day because the other two are so matte. So I really like all these together. And then I'm 
going to highlight with the Born This Way concealer and butter it a scratch. in a different color in the color cocoa to contour Morphe 173 brush and then blend out my nose contour. And then I'm going to take the Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. And then, yeah, it's been very well used. And then contour, powder contour, my um, face. So I just lined my eyes with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Perversion. And then for lashes, I'm going to use Lily Lashes in the style Miami. are on. I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Hustle and Glow Loose Highlighter and put that on top. you guys that completed today's look i hope you enjoyed it so guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video have a good day